Hi, sixth graders. It is Wednesday and you have been assigned Unit 8, A through D. After you have listened to the definitions and you have your three Mr. Sticks and three dialogue bubbles or pictures, illustrations of those vocab words, your next job is to do Unit 8, A through D. Exercise A has you putting two parts together that are the definition for one of the vocab words or is the definition for one of the vocab words. Make sure that you have capital letters, ending punctuation, correct spelling all the way through, and really neat handwriting. You should be working with a sharp pencil and your handwriting should be as neat as possible. Lately, your exercise A's have been really kind of messy, so I want you to really work on cleaning that up so that it's easy to read and easy to correct. Exercise B has you improving each of the following sentences by crossing out the bold phrase and replacing it with the word or form of the word from word list eight. There are a few that you will need to um, adjust the tenses of. And if you hang on just a second, I'll go grab that book for you. The ones that you need to change the tense of, one, nine, and 11. Those three will have you changing the tenses of those if you're looking for that. Exercise C is extra credit. You need to make sure you have that done when we correct on uh, Friday. Now, exercise D has us working with analogies. Remember that you're gonna select the pair of words that most nearly expresses the relationship of the pair of words in capital letters. So if you look on page 79, one through five in exercise D is working with synonyms. Remember, those are words that have the same meaning. In addition to making this a little bit more challenging, is they're working with words not only in this particular unit, but also in units one through seven. They've thrown in some different things and you may have to go back and you may have to locate those words. If you want a clue as to from what uh, unit that word might be from, not all of them are from different units, but if you're wondering, there is an alphabetized book list in the very back of your vocab book. So for instance, if you were looking for uh, the word Jeopardy, which is in number one, if you use that word list in the back of the vocab book that actually comes from unit four. So you can go back in and check to see what those definitions are. So if you're in Jeopardy, you're in danger. Which one has a similar relationship to Jeopardy is to danger. Write the letter of your choice on the outside edge like we used to do for vocab, um, vocab quizzes so that it's easy to correct. Six through eight has you working on antonyms, which means the opposite of. So you're going to want to make sure that six through nine, you are thinking about antonyms as the opposite. You now have the directions for Unit 8, A through D. It's now your opportunity to work very quietly and very neatly on this particular assignment that will be corrected on Friday with me in class.